everyone. Today we have a special video. I went to Barnes & Noble and I got Stitches, uh, the book. <laughs> so this is by uh, Hirokatsu Kihara and Dart by Jichi Ito. So this is a mixture of prose and um, illustration. So yeah, it's a mix. I haven't read any of Ito's work that quite looks like this. That's uh, the picture. I have, I own and have read a ton of his manga. There is a bonus manga in the back. But um, yeah, so like I have read and own Uzumaki, Loveless, Frankenstein, Smashed, Shiver, Black Paradox, Dissolving Classroom, um, mo most of his stuff. So I do own Tomie. I have not read it yet. I brought it with me. I'm going to read it as a reward after something in April. So yeah. So this is Stitches. It just came out like this week. So uh, this is March 25th today, 26th. I don't know. But the life is a blur. But yeah, so um, it is nine stories that are short stories. So we have Face, Library, From the Sea, Festival of the Dead, The Play, Folk Dance, The Kimono, Snow Day, and Lips. With the bonus manga, Summer Graduation Trip. So that is Stitches, and I'm about to dive in. I'm very excited. I got this from Barnes & Noble. I actually pre-ordered it and then had to cancel my pre-order because I wouldn't be in Toronto where it would be delivered. So then I came down to California, been here for a few weeks and I picked it up. So happy. So yeah, um, let's dive on in. Alright, so I finished the first short story, which is the first stitch, which is called Face. Yes. Yeah, Face was good. Um, there were three illustrations plus the uh, cover page. So, Ito does so well. Uh, I don't want to show you them so that you don't get spoiled. Um, but yeah, um, it's interesting to have prose mixed with manga, um, so it's a bit like a light novel, I guess. Do light novels have illustrations? Maybe I'm getting confused. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, um, I liked it. I would give it, I don't know. Seven and a half? Eight? Hmm. Like, the prose has been translated into English. So, it's not as poetic and stuff, but it gets the job done. So, illustrations, gorgeous. Prose was alright, but the story was good. So it'd be nice to have a little bit more in the story. It's one, two, three, four, like four and a half pages of text. Um, but yeah, all in all, enjoyable. On to stitch number two, which is called turn the page. Come on. Library. Here we go. All right, I have finished stitch two, the library. Um, it was pretty good. 
I'd give this one more of a six and a half, seven. So, um, <laughs> uh, this one is also short. I think all of these are very short, but um, it's so funny. There are these faces in the corner of like the cover page. So very, very nice. <laughs> um, Something weird just happened outside my window that's open. <laughs> Sounded like crickets and stuff just went by. It's quiet now. <laughs> it was really weird. Um, yeah. Uh, it was good. I was listening to some Uzumaki trap music. So to get a little bit more of the creepy vibe going. And that helped. And that window just helped. Um, yeah. <laughs> so... The next one is From the Sea, stitch number three, so I'll see you guys after. finished the third one and the noise came back outside my window like I don't know what is it a frog is it a bunch of crickets I don't know but it like comes sits outside my window a little bit and then just whoosh, vanishes but yeah um and the end of this story talks about the noises that bugs make so that was lovely <laughs> Uh, this story was okay. Um, it was short and yeah, uh, I'll go into more spoilers later at the end of the video, but um, yeah, and I'll give it a five. It was right. And uh, there's three Ito illustrations. The second one's my favorite of them. Yeah. On to Stitch 4, Festival of the Dead. So, awesome sauce. Alrighty, I have finished the fourth one. And, oh, it's all right. I don't know, back to a six and a half. Maybe a seven. Um, there was a double page spread illustration in this one, which was really nice. And, um, I don't know, I didn't find it scary, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was, it was all right. It was well done. Um, I just... I don't know, like, short stories are my bread and butter. Like, I write them all the time. And it's just interesting to see how different our styles are. Um, so, this one is more telling rather than being a close point of view. So, it, it has a different feel. It's more of a, like, I'm telling this story at a campfire type of uh, feel to it rather than you are the character uh, in their mind and stuff so um, it's a little more scary stories to tell in the dark um, but yeah I like the premise at the end so um, the, the little twist reveal of what it must have been was cool. I've never seen that one done before. So I enjoyed that. And then stitch number five is the play. So dun, dun, dun. I'm on page 40. All right, I have finished number five. 
and I would give it a seven. So it was it was very cool. I I never knew I wanted to see Junji Ito illustrate this before, but um, yes, there's another two page spread. One that is Chef Kiss. Um, cool concept. Roy's now moving on the bed. And yeah, um, not much to say that's not a spoiler, <laughs> so I will give spoilers at the end. But number six, Folk Dance. finished number six and um yeah i think i'd give this one a seven so um the ending was very predictable i was hoping for something spookier but um yeah it's a uh, tried and true so yeah um oh i'm getting tired yeah on to number seven. I hate when they do this. They put those sticky thingies on the paper so it takes off ink when you take it out. Uh -huh. Not this time. Take that, Satan. Alright, this one is the kimono. Alright, so I finished stitch seven and I would give it a seven and a half. Um, it was very cool with the uh, supernatural aspect and um, yeah, very short. And I believe I only have two more to go, so we're getting close, getting close. And uh, I will reveal spoilers at the end. Yeah. Um, some, some good artwork. There's a, a picture that includes a futon, and it always reminds me of the futon short story that's scary with the... Yeah, yeah, you, if you know, you know. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's what it reminds me of. But yeah, on to number eight. Alright, I finished number eight. I think I would give this one an eight. Um, this one paired well with uh, the illustrations, um, with scary moments to illustrate. So I thought it was a, a better symbiotic relationship with the illustrations for this one. Um, and this one calls back to the cover, so. Fun times, fun times. And I'm now on to the final stitch, lips. Okay, so I read the final stitch. It started out good, and then it got great, and then I was let down by the ending. I was like, dang it. I was like, this is an eight, and then an uh, eight and a half. Um, I'll leave it a seven and a half. Maybe, maybe an eight. Um, Oh. The illustration, though, of the, uh, the, the illustration in the center of the page with the uh, revelation of like the, the growth. I'm trying not to spoil it. That 
that one was my favorite on that story. But yeah, uh, looks like there's an afterword. And of the author. And then um, there is a manga on the back. So not very thick, but I shall read it. So I finished the manga in the back, and I would give the manga a seven. Um, it was, it's based off of a true story, um, and it was pretty cool. Uh, with it, it was nice to read the actual like manga story instead of just prose with illustrations. panel but it wasn't a very scary reveal so <laughs> like it's all technically very well done um, illustration wise and stuff and it's based off of a true story but I don't know it, with it could have had more of a twist um, but yeah overall stitches I enjoyed it I would give it probably a 7 out of 10. Um, not my favorite, but I enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, on to some spoilers. So first off, I never knew I wanted to see Pinocchio illustrated by Junji Ito before. Heck yes. Thank you, thank you. So uh, we have the marionette, Pinocchio Illustrated. Um, we have some really cool moments like the ghost girl with no face. And also on the wardrobe with the lips. I really enjoyed this illustration, even though it is in the center. So cute. See the whole thing. Um, so the cover actually is based off of this illustration. It just doesn't have the rope. So changed it for the cover. I had to double check. I'm like, is there a rope on the cover? No, there's not. Um, but yeah, this one was cool. Tumor in the shape of a face, a man's face that travels around her, and they need the prayers to be written on her skin. So those are two of my favorite illustrations, and those were both in the first book. So um, now to go through. So So the first one was face, which was the tumor uh, that moves around and she's like possessed by a male spirit and um, from when they move into the countryside and build their house where they shouldn't. Uh, they never reveal why they shouldn't, 
do it in that particular spot, but it leads to possession, so just don't do it. Um, library, there's a ghost girl in the library, and she um, runs uh, and like disappears, and then they jolt up to do these cleansing rituals in the library to try and get rid of her. Um, so, I thought that one was cool. I liked the, um, like, just the idea of that. It kind of reminded me of, um, is it Ghost Stories? The one with the ridiculous dub. Um, but yeah. And, uh, we get a girl's face on the ceiling. So, that was cool. Um, the third one was From the Sea which are uh, ghost orbs. So we have ghost orbs going to a shrine up the mountain. And um, I thought it was interesting that there are very few names. They're all just a letter. So like Miss F, Mr. A, things like that. Um, Vessel of the Dead. Uh, this old guy who passed away three years, two, three years ago shows up uh, from the neighbor's house and walks into the main girl's house. And then uh, he goes and fetches his wife later and find out that she died. And then the whole shrine empties in front of her house and then the house catches fire. So that one was pretty cool. I enjoyed that one. Then we've got the play with Pinocchio. And the is the ghost actually the one that is puppeteering Pinocchio, and uh, not the girl wearing the costume, the uh, the blackout uh, costume, so that she's a shadow player. But yeah, um, six was folk dance, which is where you have the photographer taking the picture of the beautiful woman and all of the college students, and of course when the photos are developed, it's not what it seems, but um, in this one, they just have her disappear instead of revealing something scary in her place. So, yeah. Ghost Girl wasn't really there. And then uh, the kimono. Um, so this is the futon. That reminds me of Bhutan. Um, yeah, this one was alright. Uh, the, the girl ghost doesn't have a face except for a mouth. Turns out to be the main character, the mom. It's her little sister that died when she was younger. So, she shows up in the photo. <laughs> uh, yeah. So... Hanging woman, and this one was creepy. Um, I liked this one. And we get more of the reveal, like looking up and seeing her looking down at us. So it like you have the door open and you look through the door and there's the hanging woman, and you close your eyes and then you open them and she's staring straight down at you. So it had great setup for these illustrations. I enjoyed that. Um, lips is the armoire one where the lips show up on this paper on her armoire and um, she goes to open it or like touch it and uh, yeah it all <laughs> the lips open and you just see black and then the lips never open again and nobody gets sucked inside there's no big scare it's just dark so I don't know it kind of let me down but it was a great great setup um, and that's it for those and then there's the manga which is uh, they go to an onsen a hotel a a, 
Mexico. Like a traditional Japanese inn. Um, where they have dinner served and they have an onsen. And so they go down to the onsen and um, the stairs elongate and are seemingly never ending even though there was only one floor last time they checked and uh, this creepy woman is there um, so we've got these illustrations going on and they're like is this the way to the onsen and they're like yeah and there's all of these people in the onsen which would be pretty off-putting and turns out they were all facing the same way not moving and nobody was getting out the whole time they were there. So the main character skedaddled and talked to one of the workers there and she's like, oh my gosh, you saw the lady. And they're like, oh no, 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 no. Don't tell us what's going on. <laughs> like, dang it, I wanted to know what was going on. So, yeah. Um, that was it. <laughs> so, uh, that was Stitches. I would give it a 7, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with a 7 out of 10. But yeah. Oh, Roy, your belly is broken. My short boy. He's so cute. So yeah. That is a little mini reading vlog and review all wrapped up in one. So hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll see you all later.